tipping point is the moment when extreme changes are a great possibility, or when enough factors gathered in one moment to create a social epidemic. There's also times where there's this sort of tipping phenomenon, so that people can be working for 100 years to try to stop slavery, or you know, 100 years to let women vote, and it seems like they're not making much progress. But then they, they reach this tipping point. Enough people have been educated. Then before you know it, within a few years, things flip around. The three rules of epidemics, the law of the few, the stickiness factor, the power of the contents. The law of the few discusses the rule a special few of people play to spread any epidemic. This special few is associated by Gladwell to the 2080 rule, which is that 20% of the people do 80% of the work. Gladwell is, illustrates this idea through using the analysis of the spread of gonorrhea in the city of Colorado Springs. This analysis showed that all the cases counted came from the activities of 168 people. The same thing happened when Facebook user rates that run in semi-straight line until it hits a point where the graph rises at an angle, which is similar if you consider it a social epidemic. The hush puppy spread in the middle 1990s. The law of the few categorizes people to three main types. Each serves the spread of the epidemic these three types are number one, connectors, number two, mavens, number three, salesmen. The first type, the connectors, who are the people that bring people together, they definitely know a lot of people. They have greater skills in making new friends and acquaintances, and they take role in multiple worlds and subcultures and walks of life. The principle of the strength of weak ties doesn't mean only that the closer people are to connectors, the more they benefit, but also means the closer an idea, product, or service is to a connector, the more likely it will be affected. Perhaps this has something to do with the hush puppies. The second type are mavens. The word mavens comes from the Yiddish and means the one who acquire knowledge. Mavens are not passive collectors of information. They often want to share their knowledge of the market and they connect people to the marketplace. The third type of people is salesmen. They have the skill to persuade when people are unconvinced the salesmen engage in a persuasive communication that takes a place in a rhythmic physical dimension with every word the speaker moved in a way underlining and emphasizing his speech in a mechanism could be described as dancing contagiously attracted to listeners to react back and focus their attention. The quality of the message is also a crucial factor for Gladwell, for the spread of the social epidemic. Therefore, the quality of the message is the quality of the stickiness. The importance of the stickiness of the message is that in today's world, audience are swarmed with many messages and only the highest in stickiness are to stay in people's minds. Gladwell uses the famous Winston cigarette slogan. It's new Winston, the easy drawing filter cigarette that tastes good like a cigarette should. The power of the context in which Gladwell emphasizes the role of the environment and circumstances on behavior. This idea is illustrated by examples such as the 37 witnesses of the New York stabbing murder and the crime rates in general in New York City prior to the 1990s. The rule explains the influence of different circumstances on human behaviors.